Alright, alright, alright. How are you guys doing? Nathan Roberts here. I'm here at the Skyfall 2018 in Auburn, Alabama. And uh, I got my table set up here behind me. Back to what I'm going to do. I'm very curious. If you guys can hear me, please uh, let me know. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Check, check, check. Can you guys hear me? What's up, Nordy? Can you guys hear me okay? So, there we go. I got the table set up back here. You can hear okay. I can hear great, 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 loud and clear. This is Robbie Davidson's table right here. Celebrate Truth. He's got, again, his book. He just released his book, Scientism Exposed. So, go check that out. That's awesome. See, I got book set up. I also got Edward Hendry's book set out here, The Greatest Lie on Earth. So if you haven't read that yet, you should definitely check it out. Um, I've also got a Masonic Bible right here, which was not handed down to me, but it was uh, my, my mom. She received a box of Bibles, and this just so happened to be in it. See that? It's a master reference edition, and I open it up and on the first page we got here, we got all the presidents, at least at the point in time that this was written, who were known to be Masons. And so, the guys, this has been going on for a long, long time. Long time. George Washington... This is great. I'm glad you guys are here. I'll show you some of the uh, the banners that Dean got set up for Skyfall. It's pretty nice. At the bottom, it says, uh, The sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Mark 13, 24 through 26. Guess who said that? That was Jesus. And then we got this banner over here. Biblical cosmology, ancient Hebrew rev uh, revelation of creation. What's up, Gen 6 Project? The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows, showeth his handiwork, Psalm 19.1. So this is a pretty nice setup, guys. In fact, I'm going to take you guys into the conference <laughs> so you guys can see what's going on. I won't be talking, though. And observance, repeat the great scientific method cannot be accomplished through this true science. Everything that is being taught, especially when it comes to assaulting the Word of God, has no application in a true scientific definition. So while we don't have to be anti-science, we need to learn science, because that is the way we're actually going to defend it even more for people that maybe are skeptical about the Bible. There are so many proofs that don't even touch on the Bible. There are people that are waking up that are fighting this war with us. They're fighting for the true creator of creation. They don't even know who they're fighting for yet, but they're like, you know what? I'm taking down that lie. They're fighting for the truth. Right? It says the truth will set you free. So we're dealing with something incredibly powerful here. We deal with this. What you see here, again, more cartoons. Right? We see these all the time. They go on and on and on. Okay. So this is happening in Auburn, Alabama. Auburn, Alabama. So the University of Auburn is right here. All right. So yeah, I just wanted to test this out. I'm glad this is working, guys. Look, I'm using my Samson mic. Like I was trying to test it out last night. It wasn't working really well, but I think it was because of internet connectivity, but it looks like here at the uh, conference center here at the hotel, I've got a really great signal. So I should be able to, I might even go live when doing my presentation so you guys can watch it in real time, which would be really, really cool. Um, just trying to see if I can gain confidence with the connection and and also this mic working. So 
But yeah, it's pretty neat, guys. So check this out. Um, there's a. So obviously this is a hotel, and we're not the only ones here. Uh, there's also a business engineering and industry summit meeting, and they've got a lot of tags here set up for Auburn University. And uh, there have been people who have, because their, their meeting room is right there, and then of course right over there, that's where the Skyfall entrance is. And of course my table is right here, set up right next to them. So they have to pass by us, and there, a lot of people are looking at what we're doing, and they've even, they've even taken uh, my, my business cards here as well as they've uh, taken video footage and pictures of this because they're interested in investigating it. So, it's pretty neat. It's pretty good stuff, guys. But yeah, I, I speak today. Hey, Tony, what's up? Today, I, I get to speak at 2.15. So I'm looking forward to that, 2.15. And depending on how this goes with me going live, I just may stream it live on my channel on now flat earth doctrine yeah so if you guys don't mind give a thumbs up if you can if you're watching this that'd be awesome um, so hey flat earth frank what's going on what's going on see we got business people in the background they're like here for uh here for something else but they're saying this stuff and they're like what's going on but yeah, I'm no longer your curveless earth. No longer your curveless earth. It's flat earth doctrine now. The channel changed. I put in a request to YouTube to change it, and finally they uh, accepted the request. So now the messaging is the same across the board, and it says flat earth doctrine all over the place. So it's much easier to find me on YouTube. You guys got any questions? What's up, me now? All right, Cody, what's up? Let's see here, did you know that the... Truth is truth. Yeah, I've already went ahead and addressed what Limitless Channel and Awake Souls believe about the model, which I honestly could care less about other than the fact that so far as I can tell, the model that is given from um, the Gleason map in 1892 is much closer than anything that they've actually given, meaning Awakened Soul and them. I've put a video out on them. I don't trust those guys. I've, I've done my best to try to talk with them, but it's a fruitless discussion with those guys. Um, the Earth is stationary and flat, and at the end of the day, that's the most important thing because it proves that there's a creator and that creator is Jesus Christ. So I'm not going to get in those discussions because um, I've already addressed it on my channel. But if you want to believe that, that's fine. But I'm not of the same mind. So right now, Robbie Davidson's presenting inside. and He's doing a wonderful job, of course. And I'm stoked, guys. I'm really stoked. This is going to be fun. Super good stuff. I wish you guys could be here in person. Meet you in person. So we are on um, we are on S Central Standard Time, and so Central Standard Time, I'll be presenting at uh, two fifteen, two fifteen p.m. Central Standard Time is when I will probably go live, just like I am now, and I'll do my presentation. Again, this is Auburn, Alabama. Auburn, Alabama is where this is located, skyfall2018.com. Okay, so this guy right here, I don't know who this is, but I'm just going to hide this user because I'm tired of dealing with that. Okay, so looking forward to going live. Great, keep up the amazing work. Thank you, Darnell. Thank you, Darnell Neely. Yeah, Skyfall has been going on for a while now yeah I'm gonna try my best sounds good awesome good 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 yeah
what is Skyfall? Skyfall, this is an end time prophecy. Um, Flat Earth and end time prophecy conference. Well, I need your address, <laughs> Gen 6. Give me your address, man. Send me an email. I already asked you. You gotta send it to me and I'll send it out. Please do. Yeah. If, if the model was the main focus of what our discussion should be of what the earth should look like, the exact model, then it would have been laid out much more clearly. Um, um, but as far as we can tell, I, I think that, I think that the AE map that Gleason 1892 is, is pretty close. So, yeah. Um, okay. So this one right here, the two shall set you free. Um, I'm gonna give you a timeout. I don't want any more about awakened souls and um, and and uh, the truth channel or whatever it is that Ronnie and Jason, whatever they're talking about. I don't really care. What's up, Steve? Good to see you, man. Love you too, man. That's great. Yep. I know it's not spinning. I know it's stationary. I know it's flat. If if you'll notice, like, yeah, I do use the Gleason map because it's. I think it's pretty close in my book to the heliocentric, to the uh, rather what a biblical map is, but that is not the main focus of what I'm talking about. My main focus is that God's word's always faithful and always true, and so you'll even see that on all my messaging that that's what it's about. I honestly could care less about Ronnie and Jason's map and why they think that, oh my gosh, it's going to blow a hole through the whole flat earth movement. Like, go, oh, whatever get out of here with that nonsense I don't want to hear it God's words faithful and true and that's what that's what matters to this whole thing okay so you're gone by limitless number eight I'm looking forward to seeing many more of your troll accounts come through God bless you okay <laughs> all right but yeah I've got Lie on Earth, which this book is massive, guy. If you don't got this, got this book, you should definitely get this book and read it. This is one of the first books that I read about flat Earth, and it is extensive. Look at this, extensive. Edward Hendry, wonderful book, great book. Oh, the book, um, it's 25 at my table. I'm, so I'm able to sell it for 25. Uh, I think on on uh, Amazon, you can pick it up for about 30. Edward Hendry, The Greatest Lie on Earth. You may be able to get some used copies on Amazon, which, which uh, oh, so the PDF is free? Okay, so it's a great book. You gotta add it to your, or add it to your collection, no doubt. Romans 3, 4. Let God be true, every man a liar. So I think on Sunday, what we're going to try to do is Nathan Thompson. I'm not sure if you know who Nathan Thompson is, but he is the, um, the founder of the, the uh, oh, there he is. There's another one. Here we go. The Limitless number three. Here's another one. Okay. This guy is gone. Bye-bye. See ya. Okay, you know where it is. Go ahead. All right. So, how many troll accounts does Ronnie have? We will find out. Okay. So, what else? Hey, good. How are you? Thank you. Good, man. You know the Earth is stationary and flat. Did you? Did you? Did you? Have you ever heard the Earth is stationary and flat? Yeah, man. Check this out. You got time? I know you're busy. You're working. Do some research on that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Nathan Thompson, lots of energy, that's right. He is the founder of the, the largest f uh, Facebook group discussion on the shape of, Earth, shape of the Earth. I think he has over 120,000 members now in that Facebook group, and it's called um, the official 
Flat Earth and Globe Discussion. The flat, the official Flat Earth and Globe Discussion. Hey, Common Logic, what's going on? What's up, Jake? Glad you're here. Um, so, yeah, I think he and I are gonna go live, Nathan Thompson and I, uh, probably on Sunday. We're gonna try to do some flat earthing somewhere on Sunday, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna try to go live and be the first time Nath the two Nathans have hit the street together and done some flat earthing. It should be fun and exciting. A lot of energy, we'll have a good time. So if you guys are in the area, Auburn, Alabama, and you're gonna be at the Skyfall Conference, I'll let you know that it's gonna be happening. Um, that if you wanna join it, you can. So it should be fun. I think Robbie Davidson's gonna come out. I don't know if he'll do any activism, but he'll at least be there. So it should be fun. So it looks like the sound is coming through okay. Is that right? The feed is coming through good. Is that right, guys? I just wanna make sure. Okay, so here's another one. Yep, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Beyond Flat Earth. Okay, he's gone. All right. Okay, okay. Yep, I'm gonna, okay, bye-bye. We stand over, yep, see ya. You're gone. Okay, cool. I love dealing. I love dealing with uh, trolls within the flat Earth. It's, it's so much fun. Trolls outside the flat Earth. Trolls within the flat Earth. They're the same. No difference. So ex audio excellent. Good. 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 All right. Cool. Good. All right. I'm gaining some confidence that I've got good connectivity here with the internet, so that when I go down to deliver my my speech at 2:15 Central Standard Time. I will um, go live based on based on this uh, this testing here so I'm super excited about it should be fun okay guys I'm gonna get out of here and get back to the conference inside there God bless you love you and I will again I'll be giving an update about what's going on with my church as soon as as soon as um, I'm, I feel it that I can do so. So it's not happening right now. Um, so for me, a troll is probably anyone who is trying to distract me from my clearly known mission. Um, everyone see that? Okay. There we go. It's another one. Bye-bye. We are... Your eyes. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Where was the phone? Go put it back where you found it. Go put it back because they'll come back to it. Thank you. Okay, so that one's gone. All right, but yeah, as I feel led that I can share more about what's going on with my church, I'll let you guys know. And um, but yeah, it's still a developing, developing story. All right, guys, peace out. Love you.